everybody, this is Bram here. Today, I have a player offline system, so basically how you remove players offline from your scoreboard. So, um, right there on the right where it says money, you, some people, or most times when you have a scoreboard, or all the time, when somebody leaves the game, it's going to show player offline. So yeah, I'm going to show you how to fix that. But simply for you guys who don't know, um, if the system was off, and I have my other account join, okay, he's joined. So now you remove you add him to the scoreboard, but if this system was off, right? And I quit the game, obviously, it's gonna show player offline. And when you have a huge server with so many members, you don't want that. So the way you fix this is um let, let, let me get him back in the game out back. Okay. So, what it's basically going to do is I'm going to have him leave again, just to show you that this system actually works. I put the redstone dust back, so I leave, and he's off the scoreboard. So, it's going to say player offline for a second, but that's just a glitch, you know. And, yeah, it, it works really good. This is, like, standard, guys. Like, I don't know the first original creator. However, the person who made it literally made this system standard. So, yeah, this is amazing. So what we're going to practically do here is the way this works is this one is repeating, unconditional, always active at zero ticks. It's testing for all the players in the world. And just because it's testing for all the players, it means that this gives out a different signal for every player that's there. So if there's two players, it will send a signal strength of two. If it's one, it's one. If it's three, three signal strength. So basically whenever a player leaves or joins the game, it's going to update this um, redstone dust, which fires the observer, which will fire this chain off. So, that's how that works. And if you didn't know, that's what a comparator did after, off of a test day. Well, that's what it does. <laughs> okay, and then off of the test day, you're pointing it into this chain command block. It's chain unconditional always active. And what it is, is it's an execute at all players, scoreboard players operation, at P, money display equals at P, money. So basically what it's saying is the money from the normal money scoreboard is put onto the money display because it's just constantly doing that as well since it's constantly testing for, it's constantly, um, what's it called, um, making it equal each other. So if I add scoreboard to the money, which has everybody's scoreboard, it has it saved, and then it equals to the money display, then all that money from the money will go to the money display, which the one right there is the money display. And what you're going to want to do now is you're going to do scoreboard objectives add um, money, which is um, capital M, which is I put, and then dummy. You're going to want to do that. So it's already added, so I'm not going to do anything. And then this is, you don't add the money display yet because I'll show you what this does. The next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make this where it goes um, comparator, redstone dust, and then an observer with the redstone face there, or the face facing the redstone, the redstone output coming on to the, uncondi or the impulse command. So it's impulse, unconditional need redstone. What it's doing is it's removing the objective of money display. And keep in mind how you type that because I'm not going to have you type it into chat because there's an alternative way to do this. So you do that, right? The next thing you do is chain unconditional always active. And this is where you want to add the scoreboard. <clears throat> it's scoreboard objectives add money display dummy and then your display name. So right now it's showing money display. But in the dummy, you're going to want to do money, which means it's displaying it as money. That's that's how it is. So it's basically doing that, you know. And then after that, you're going to want to do scoreboard objective set display sidebar money display. And then it's going to set the sidebar to the, to the money display. And that's chain unconditional always active. And this one is chain unconditional always active, and it's scoreboard players at all at, and I messed this up, it's supposed to be um, money. So basically you're adding them to their original scoreboard, <clears throat> so that way they're always showing there. 
But the way this works is, and then once you have that set up, nothing should show, and then what you do is you do this, and then it would show. So normally, yeah, it would just show after that. And somebody just messaged me. Ooh, okay. Um, that that's really nice. This system. I, I wanted wanted to make a tutorial on it because people were asking me, and I was I I didn't want to like legit show them. So I was like, okay, I'll just make a tutorial on it. And plus, it adds to the command block playlist. <laughs> so yeah, there it is. And I know people are struggling with this. So yes, here this player offline system. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and. If you really loved it, please subscribe and hit that notification bell to get notified whenever I upload a video. And, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. And this has been Bram, and I'm out.